can it run by itself? Like I could just choose any of those, you know, test suites and just run one right. and it doesn't have to worry about whether or not anything else is in there in the system. So, that, so like el eliminating interdependencies or anything like that. Th that That's what I found has been crucial for me to, yeah. um, now I still run my, my test suites in like a, in order, but it's nice to know that if, look, Perfect example, I got called up today. They said, hey, Dave, can you, um, we had an issue in our workflows. Can you run your scripts against workflows? Well, I didn't have to worry about going out and running a script, like three or four scripts beforehand to give me what I needed in order to run the workflow scripts. I went right to the workflow scripts in my test suites and ran them because mm -hmm. they were completely, you know, I don't know what the word would be to use there, but they could run on their own without any any need from any other scripts. And that that's been very good for me. Um, I don't know, Alex. I don't what what. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Like the the self contained scripts, right? Yeah. Uh, is is something that um, usually people stumble uh, in the beginning because it's very like it's much easier to just create scripts that. Um, do a lot of things and then the data that you create on step one is uh, of the first test is reused or has to be reused right. or passed on to the second script and then the third and, it, and then if you want to run the second script the third script by themselves like Dave is saying you can't because it depends on data generated from two or three scripts before right although on paper that idea sounds great because you can chain things together in most cases, it, it really it does not make sense because it, you know, they've mentioned a great example that happened to him today is that hey, scripts have to be self-contained in order to minimize maintenance and in order for um, when um, uh, they fail, you'd know exactly the reason as to why they fail. There's right. no doubt in that, oh, let me look for where the, the issue is coming from. Is it the script issue, a data issue? Is it coming from the first uh, script that didn't generate the data properly, et cetera? So writing self-contained scripts is really key for any testing strategy from an automation perspective. Um, the other thing I would say, like, because I completely relate and, and agree with everything that Dave said. I mean, the, and, and that, like those lessons that, that Dave mentioned, only come with experience. I mean, yeah. if you're, so you can definitely tell there's a lot of mileage, uh, miles there. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just it's dated good. David. We figure out exactly how old this man is. <laughs> exactly. A lot of scars there. Yeah. Oh, scars. my gosh. Yes. Yes. For uh, sure. And uh, the, the, the only thing I, I would mention, not to, to repeat what they've said, was, um, uh, that worked for me was uh, as we were putting together the the uh, the strategy for automation. It it helped me working with manual testers also in the sense that hey guys like here's what uh, we agreed to automate. But is is there anything else in your manual testing workflows that could help you if we automate it right so that it's faster? So it might not be necessarily. Uh, something that is part of the acceptance criteria as 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 they've mentioned it might be something that it would help the professional testers on the team the manual testers uh to basically uh, reduce the execution time on the manual front as well with functionalities that are stable and you know have been previously tested so usually we're able to add a few more tests to our testing uh to our automation testing scope by helping them out and helping them out you know, does two like has two sort of collateral effects, which is one, it it elevates automation further in the organization, right? Because yeah. then people are like, oh, they're actually helping, and it's actually the second one is it's actually making the overall testing effort faster. So uh, I think those that idea, and the reason I say that is because there's this idea that manual testing is a silo and automation is another silo, mm. and they can't really talk. But when they do talk the benefits of for the the team overall are huge right and uh so that's the one one lesson that i've learned also is that collaboration across manual testing and automated testing um, can generate additional benefits as well yeah when when what what would you tell anyone who's who's planning on moving to to automated testing and what what would be the 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 one advice or one piece of advice that you would give them uh, as they as they try to move um for me what i 
uh, is uh, a script is never just a record and a playback. Um, there's always going to be some level of manipulation that's in the script.